Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Common Sense Guys channel. Today we're going to be doing a very very quick video. I do have uh, a couple of videos lined up for the rest of this week. One being the the guy that thinks he's Jesus from Down Under. That should have part one I think of about three uh, coming out on Friday and the rest will be coming when and if I can get them finished on certain days. But today we're going to be talking about the fact of um, apparently the standard has now turned itself into a anti-semitic rag because they drew ed miliband with a broken nose yeah yeah i know reaching if it was an actual political sport they would definitely be excelling out and by they there's a couple of people mostly from anovara media that have decided that they're going to jump on this and try and compare this form of anti-Semitism to the way that the Labour Party was run under Jeremy Corbyn. Yeah, let's get into it, shall we? So, ladies and gentlemen, let's start off with the fact of somebody that works or co-writes as different writers i want to say she writes she edits for novara media she also does uh pieces for the independent the new statesman vice Verosa books and so on and so forth and her name is eleanor penny and eleanor penny decides that she's going to write this tweet which states it took three days for the press to go from good riddance to the anti-semite corbin to her der look at Ed Meliband's nose, he hates Britain like his Jew dad. Now, it's very interesting, right? Because I'm going to show you what the actual picture is right here. This is the picture from the Evening Standard. This is a picture of a over-characterised or characteristics that have been put into this Evening Standard picture. You have Keir Starmer or Sir Keir Starmer saying, and I say to those MPs in the party who contributed to our electoral disaster, next panel, both arms out, welcoming, saying, welcome back, with a picture of Ed Miliband not looking too happy and eating a bacon sandwich. Now, anybody that has any idea about, should we say a bacon sandwich, is in reference to a picture that was snapped at him in the 2013 era that kept on coming back up whenever Ed Miliband would do anything to do with the leadership, so to speak. So, yeah, there's a little bit of nuance behind the actual picture itself. But this is the actual picture. There is nothing else to the picture. That is what the Daily Cartoon is. So, for everybody to see again, I'm going to plaster it right here. For everyone to see again. So, as you can see, doesn't seem to be too much. You have Ed Miliband's nose being broken. And, let's be honest, Ed Miliband's nose is something that he is, um, let's say, quite well known for. It's something that was brought up to him and about him beforehand and has always been. By the way, you can demigrate somebody via themselves without actually taking on any other, should we say, characteristic or trope that has been ingrained into society to think that, oh, you're taking the Mickey or taking the Michael out of Jews. No. In this instance, it is just to over-characterise Ed Miliband so people can see that it's Ed Miliband. It is not, as everybody else is trying to say, of going off on Jews for a change. But let's go back to... Eleanor's Penny's actual point, shall we? So it took three days for the press to go from good riddance to anti-Semite Corbyn to herder look at Ed Maliband's nose. He hates Britain like his due dad. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. Please correct me if I'm wrong. But I don't see any, any whatsoever, references to to being Jewish, I don't see any references to his dad, I don't see any references to the fact of him maybe or maybe not hating Britain in any which way at all. 
I see references to the fact of Ed Miliband besides Jeremy Corbyn had disastrous election results coming up against David Cameron when he did. But apparently that's something to do with hating Britain and so on and so forth. But yet so many people are trying to claim that this is definitely a hatred towards Jewish people. Now, don't get me wrong, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. But actually show the fact that it is hatred towards Jews, rather than somebody actually just saying, well, you know, he has that broken nose and whatnot. So, it's something to do with Jews? It literally makes no sense. I understand that you're getting to a, a biased opinion here, because you're looking for something to grab hold of to try and say, look, this is them doing something that we apparently did, and it's okay for them to do it, but not us. I understand that's the argument in which you're actually going for that on Eleanor Penny. I understand that. By the way, that was hyperbolic humour. I wasn't actually claiming that. But hey, suppose that would be clicked out of context. So I went to have a look at Eleanor Penny's Twitter page. Because I wanted to have a look to see if there was anything that was put up beforehand. And obviously as I've just shown you what the actual picture was that was in the Evening Standard... She quote tweets Christian Adams, which is the author of said cartoon, that points to a picture of Ed Miliband's broken nose. And Christian Adams tweets, right here, as I'll show you right now, Dear everyone, here's Ed Miliband's nose. Cartoon character chore. Which is the whole point. You over dramatize the characteristics of the person, person, to be able to show that that's who you are drawing, especially in a caricature, which is what he does. But Eleanor Penny goes, if anti-Semitism hadn't ended when Jeremy Corbyn stepped down, I would be really concerned about this. Whew, close one. In literal point, Christian Adams, the actual author of said picture that is causing everyone to go so crazy about this idea of anti-Semitism in the Evening Standard because of said cartoon, which is politically pointing out the fact of how bad Ed Miliband and how Keir Starmer is putting together a shadow cabinet of immense respect. Sarcasm, everyone. Sarcasm. To the point of, look, this is the reason why I drew his nose as it is a broken nose, where it goes to this point and goes down. It is literally like that. That's where the caricature comes from. But everyone got a reach. Everyone got a reach so bad that their backs are so bent out of shape that they are mentally, gymnastically getting gold for their overreaching. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for taking the time to watch or to listen to this video. Thank you very much. I am going to be talking to a Christian YouTuber called SJ Thompson on her channel, linked down below in the description box of me talking to her. We're going to be talking about the idea of subjective morality and the case for a subjective morality. If that's something that you're interested in, then please go and give us some support on her channel. I'd much appreciate it. If not, there are going to be some other videos coming up very shortly. As I said before, the man down under that thinks that he is literally Jesus Christ, the second coming. Again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Please like, share and subscribe to this video and to this channel. I will speak to you all again real soon. But bye for now. Take care and please be safe out there. Speak to you all again real soon. Bye for now.